Hi, and welcome back to Family Summer Camp at Home Edition, day two of Wild Kratz Week. We hope you guys had a great time yesterday making your own bird feeder, and you're ready to use your math skills and learn more about animals and their habitats today. Did you know crocodile eggs hatch as a boy or a girl, depending on the temperature of their nest? So in the Creature Roundup game, you guys would have been adjusting the temperature of a crocodile nest to determine if it was going to be boy or girl crocodiles hatching. You also would have been scaring off predators to save the baby crocodile. While unfortunately that game is not available at this moment, we're going to link some other games for you to play in the description below. So in the Creature Roundup game, Chris and Martin explained about temperatures and thermometers. While we are going to talk more about that later on, we do have a couple videos for you guys to still work on those skills. Go ahead and watch the Cyber Chase episode, Rena Thermometer, and the Wild Kratz video, Croc Hatch. Don't forget to play some of the games and apps that we're going to link below. So go ahead, pause here, and come back when you're ready to start today's activity. So for today's activity, you're going to need a pencil, your thermometer printout, your scavenger hunt instructions, and your temperature chart. So let's go ahead and learn more about thermometers. Go ahead and pull out your measuring temperature printout. So a thermometer is a tool for measuring temperatures. It, you can tell the temperature of whatever you're measuring by how high the red line goes up in your thermometer. The higher the bar, the warmer the temperature. The lower the bar, the cooler it is. You can see here, commonly thermometers are marked by 10. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and all the way up to 60. Now, while there are a lot of digital thermometers available now, we do hope that you can try to use a non-digital one to practice reading temperatures. There are tons of different types of thermometers out there, and they all do a special job. Some thermometers measure the temperature outside, some measure the temperature of your body, some even measure the temperature of food. There are even specialty thermometers designed to measure the temperature of everything from your oven, your refrigerator, to the temperature inside your house. Think about here for a minute what types of thermometers you've seen. And go ahead and take a minute to gather the different types of thermometers you have in your house. So now that we've talked a little bit more about thermometers and temperatures, let's go ahead and talk more about habitats. Now, if you remember from yesterday, a habitat is the place in nature where an animal lives. A habitat needs to have what the animal needs to survive. So they need to have a way to find food, water, shelter, and space. So why do animals need shelter? Animals need shelter from bad weather. They also need shelter from other animals that would try to eat them. Same way people need shelter. We want shelter to protect us from the bad weather outside and to keep us safe from other animals and insects. One good example is we live inside so that we don't get bit by mosquitoes all the time here in Indiana. Shelter can also be used to keep the environment around them at the right temperature. So crocodiles use mud to keep their nests cool or warm. We use heating and air conditioning to keep people cool or warm. So today you're going to do a temperature scavenger hunt. Now if you look at a map of the world, you see that our world is filled with tons of different temperatures. Everything from deserts that are hot all year long to the Arctic where it's freezing cold. Now, different regions have different temperatures. And one of the reasons that there are different temperatures in the world are different animals need to live in a different temperature. So polar bears, while they love the cold, they would not do well if our whole world was as hot as the desert. They need the ice and the cool to stay comfortable and live in the habitat that's right for them. The same thing like flamingos. Flamingos would not do well if it was freezing cold and arctic temperatures all year. They like the moist and cool and warm air that they get where they live in nature. If you ever go to the zoo, you see they usually divide them out in different regions or different areas. So those regions are kept at different temperatures for the animals that live there. So let's go ahead and start our temperature scavenger hunt. 
take out your temperature chart and your pencil and your temperature scavenger hunt instructions. So your temperature chart has places for you to record temperatures indoors and outdoors using different types of thermometers. When you go through, you will put your location, the temperature, and the type of thermometer. So indoors, you may find things like a thermostat showing the room temperature, or even some thermostats show you the outside temperature. You use, you measure the temperature and record your data on this chart. In your instructions, it tells you to go and do the create the online game Creaturepedia to learn about the different regions of the earth. This will be able to see what animals need to live where. It also has some different instructions for you about where to look and temperatures to try to take. On your temperature scavenger hunt page, it also has some books that you can try to get from the library to read or that you may have at home. Go ahead, enjoy your time, go outdoors, indoors, measure the temperatures of soil, food, your house, water if you have any around you, and record them on your temperature chart. Once you have them all recorded, go through and see which temperatures were the hottest, which were the coolest, what temperature you saw the most often. Also think about how people adjust to different temperatures around them and ways animals use to adjust different ways around them. Take this time while you're outside to observe how animals are interacting in the temperature and think about how they interact differently during the winter. Go ahead, enjoy your time. Don't forget to send us pictures, videos. We love seeing what you guys are doing. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for day three. Bye.